I think my next stint at the moment is to study my reading writing more, hopefully get my own independent living started and get my confidence back and improve my sexuality or sing sex, so I need to study on that more and try to understand people's point of view with something else. People who suffer with special needs like me, with my conditions with say epilepsy, autism and suffer with um, so, so suffering with massive anxiety issues, trust me. <laughs> I can share my experience with that because I have a lot of that. Mind all the um, issues with my flat feet too, because my flat feet are so flat. Even though when I tried to correct them at one time in my life, I decided to stop doing it because it hurt my feet so badly. Once I suffered, years ago this was, I used to suffer with epilepsy so badly when I was a child. I mean, back here somewhere, or the side of my head somewhere, um, <clears throat> something did have to get moved. Back in 2006, I had a tumour in the side of my head. Um, and even now, without, my, without the things I know for my medicine, for my conditions, I will still suffer as badly as I did when I was young. Without those, I could be stuck with being the level I did have them at when I was young. And no thanks, I don't want them. But, yeah, it's not great. And even now I'm still getting them after the tumour's been moved way back in 2006. I'm still suffering with that condition now. And I'm nearly 30 years old, so... <laughs> it sure will tell you a lot. Um, so yeah... Anyone who suffers with epilepsy, trust me, I support you in that because it's not fun, it's not funny, and you have no control over it either. So, you know, you have to bear in mind the autism, you can't help either. When you're feeling someone's emotions, you can feel that in you, and your body's going into wind up mode because that's, you know, how your autism picks up on stress and it picks out onto your subconscious mind and you can f you can feel like you really what's the word um you know you feel really antsy and you want to take it out on someone which again <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying that with my conditions i'm just as guilty and being honest about it i'm like that too um but yeah i'm gonna end this video off in a minute because it's 1036 and I'll probably sure to end it off so um just one quick note before I end it off um don't feel worried about whether other people think about your personal life with either that's your passion to the railways or your passion it could be swimming um there's so many things I can't remember them all but off the top of my head but don't feel why you feel you feel alone in this. Everyone feels that same way. You get the mass, small line, uh, small uh, amount of people are below that average. Um, have any sense of knowledge what they're thinking during the half the time, but you're always getting people like that. And with YouTubers' issues at the moment, I can't imagine what the viewers or the um, editors are I am on the YouTube I am a YouTuber I've been doing YouTube for the last seven years I've been editing for the last five years so I mean I've been doing all this for myself the video in the editing the titling the uploading the putting the tech the you know the the um, the title in for when you put it up onto the channel and people love, I show my personality with people and I want to reach out to you guys to share my opinions with, you know, you guys to, to sign the grave because I haven't met you all, I have met some of you this summer, so hello to some of you who have seen me this summer, but to those who haven't met me at all yet, don't worry, <laughs> if you're all in the UK, I'm sure one day I will 
have a chance to meet you. You join Scotland somewhere, that shouldn't be too very difficult to get to you. And spend a day around trains or train go train shopping or whatnot. Um, and just talk about trains, you know. So yeah, what I can say, hoping for Marina, if she does what she does, so I doubt she does. Um, I'm hoping for her. I hope she's found her happiness and find her dream job or her dream passion of something she wants to do in her life. <coughs> so I hope best of luck for her as well. Um, <coughs> so yeah. I wish the best of luck for you, you guys too, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Um, have a great day, um, keep yourself safe, and enjoy your passions, all your relationships and whatnot. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's again. Peace.